So hello and welcome everyone. I am Jalil Sanya, and in this video, we are going to solve the question: Move all zeros to the end of the array. So first of all, we'll try to understand the problem statement, and then we'll get into the logical part. So let's start. So in this question, what you will be given? You will be given an array of n positive integers, and what you have to do? You have to push all the zeros of the given array to the right end of the array while maintaining the order of the non-zero elements. So do the mentioned change in the array and use some in place algorithm so that is what the question is trying to say and let's try to understand with the help of the example given over here so let's start in the question we are given an array containing n is equal to 5 elements and the array contains all the elements that are 3 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these are the array elements right and now what we have to do we have to move all the zeros to the end of the array and now if we move all the zeros to the end of the array the array will look something like this 3 5 4 0 0 so now the question is trying to say that you have to move all the zeros to the end of the array but it is saying that you have to maintain the ordering of all non zero elements as well so i can see that 3 is occurring be before 5 and 4 right and similarly 5 is occurring be uh, before 4 so in the output array you can observe the ordering has been maintained 3 5 and 4 if you return an array in something like this 4 3 and 5 and then that contains 0 0 although i have seen that all the zeros are to the right hand side of the array but over here i can see the ordering of non zero element is not maintained right so we have to move all the zeros to the end of the array keeping in mind the ordering of non zero elements as well so for the given test case the output comes out to be 35400 i hope you understood the first example now let's have a look at one more example so now let's say n is equal to 6 and the array contains 1 0 0 2 5 and 7 so these are the array elements now let's say what will be the output i know that all the zeros will be at the end but all the non zero elements will maintain their ordering right so the array will be 1 2 1 2 5 7 and 0 0 so that is what the output array looks like so that is all about the question and you have to find out such an algorithm that does the processing in in place so basically try to do with in place algorithm so now let's try to understand how to solve this question so the approach for this is very simple and it does not require any kind of complex thinking or complex implementation so what i will do i will take the same example uh, which i was explaining for the question and i will apply the algorithm on that example as well so now this is the entire array and now let's also take this output array so that we can observe uh, what is the output so this is the output array so now if you observe over here we simply know that if we find some kind of algorithm if we know some kind of approach in which somehow we are capable of taking this one two 5 and 7 bringing this 1 to 5 and 7 at this position then our task is complete right so basically i can simply make all the rest of the elements zero and that is going to be very much easy right so that was what we were supposed to do so now in order to solve this question what i'll be doing i will be having two pointers and let's understand how you can utilize two pointers so let's start so let's say there is one pointer that says and its name is j and there is one more pointer that says i so this i pointer its task is to iterate over each and every element of the array either it be non zero either it be zero element but it has to travel over the entire array and find out which are the non zero elements and what will this i pointer do whenever it finds a non zero element it will put that element at the jth position so let's start so let's say currently i is standing at the first element right at the zeroth index now is the element pointed by i non zero element yes so what it will it will do it will place that non zero element at the jth position so i will place it at the jth position so now moving the value of i further so i will be pointing to zero and now as i have placed an element at the jth position i need to find the next empty position so i will move the j pointer forward so now is i pointing to any non zero element no it is pointing to a zero element so i will move forward so it is now pointing to this zero so is it pointing to any non zero element no it is pointing to a zero element so move, it will move forward and now it is pointing to two and it is a non zero element right so basically 
this 2 will be placed at the jth position. So, this 0 will be replaced by 2. Okay, so let me replace it now. Yes. So, whenever any element is placed at the jth position, the j pointer is supposed to move forward. So, now moving the j pointer forward and now, now j is pointing to this position. And now, I have to move this i pointer forward to find the other non-zero elements. So, now i will moving forward and it is finding that it is pointing to a non-zero element that is 5. So, I will place this 5 at the jth position. Okay, and now I will move this j pointer forward. Okay, and now my task is to move this i pointer forward as well. So i is pointing to 7, right? So now what do we are we are supposed to do? I can see i is pointing to a non-zero element. So again it will be placed at the jth position. So 2 will be replaced by 7, and now this j is pointing to the other empty position. So now j will be pointing to this position. Okay. So now moving the value of i pointer forward, but I cannot see any uh, further elements inside the array, right? So, I have iterated over each and every element using the ith pointer, right? So, now what is the task? So, I can observe that all the non-zero elements, see here is my output array, all the non-zero elements are at that correct position, right? So, now I simply need to make the rest of the elements zero. So, I can simply uh, start from the zero position and one by one I can make all the elements zero and that's it. We have found our output array. So, this is how we can utilize two pointers and get all the zeros to the end of the array. So, now let's try to understand how this algorithm works with the help of defined steps, with the help of proper steps. So, let's start. So, I'll be writing down the steps of the algorithm so that you guys can uh, code in whichever language you want, right? So, in this algorithm, I will be ne needing two pointers, right? One pointer is capable of uh, iterating over each and every array element right? and the other pointer is pointing to the empty position. So, the other pointer that will be pointing to the empty position is the jth pointer. So, j is the pointer that will be pointing to the empty position. So, at each and every instant of this algorithm, j will be pointing to the position where a new non-zero element can be placed. Okay. So, j is pointing to the zeroth index and I will be having a for loop and this other pointer will be iterating from 0 till i is lesser than n. Okay. And now, whenever I find any non-zero element, if array of i is non-zero element, then what I need to do, I need to place it at the jth position, right? So, array of j will be containing array of i. Okay. So, make sure over here I have not swapped the elements. I have simply replaced the element at the jth position by the current element that is pointed by the ith position, ith pointer, right? So, this is the first step, this is the second step, and now the third step. So, after placing all the non zero elements in the front, what I need to do? I need to make all the rest of the elements zero starting from the jth position. So, what I'll be doing? I'll be having one while loop that while this j value is lesser than n each and every element at that position j, I will make it 0, right? And this is your entire algorithm. That's it. A very straightforward and simple algorithm to place all the 0 elements at the end of the array. So, what will be the time and space complexity of this approach? Try to think for a few minutes. Yes, the time and space complexity comes out to be, so time complexity will be order of n, and what about the space complexity? So, space complexity is constant because I have not used any extra space over here, right? So, this is the time and space complexity and now let's quickly write down the solution for this, okay? So, over here I'll be coding this entire algorithm in Java, but you can implement the entire thing in any other languages with the help of the algorithm which I've already shown you, right? So, let's try to code it in Java. So, first of all, I need a pointer j that will be pointing to zero. Now, I will be iterating or rest of the other elements. So, one more pointer is required. So, i is equal to 0 till i is lesser than n and i plus plus. So, now if I find any non-zero element, that means if array of i is not equal to 0, then what I will be doing? I will be placing it at the jth index, the ith element. Okay, so I have placed the ith element at the jth index and now this j pointer needs to move forward, right? Because that position has been acquired by some non-zero element. So, j plus plus over here and now the next step of the algorithm. So, the first step was to move all the non-zero elements to the right, to the left hand side. And now the next step is to 
move all the zeros to the right side. So basically, I will have an iteration uh, till the end of the array. So j is lesser than n, and I will be making all the elements zero. I need to move the j pointer forward as well, right? And now let's try to compile and run. And the compilation has been completed. So next, so let's try to submit the solution. And we can see that the problem has been successfully submitted. So that was it for in this video. I hope you understood everything about this question. And if you really enter this solution, do hit the like button and share down your thoughts in the comment section below. So thank you for watching, and I will meet you in the next video.